You are puny creatures, barely worth the trouble. Battle. Okay. So these are our opponents. They are... adequate. But ultimately, I have Iron Floss. Alright, pop the Rally. Pop the Winged Boots. Who do we abuse? Is it just these three? Okay. I pressed the kick button, you fool! <sighs> Damn it. I was I was pressing I was mashing four and I'm like, okay, kick the thing. No. Oh, this is a much better start. Alright. Switch to iron floss. Start with a bugle. Cause this time these schmucks are hiding behind trees. Let me tell you a thing or two about trees. Don't trust them. Okay, move here. Kick him into the other guy. That's a nice attack of opportunity. Have her go here. Whirlwind. Now it doesn't look like either of these guys are stunned. Now they're stunned. Alright. I was just kind of waiting for that to happen. Move up here. We've got the one other guy hanging out in the back. Let's fix that. Oh, he has stun protection, doesn't he? Oh, that had some unintended consequences. Ah, that's good enough. Okay, so he is not stunned. Let's see how dangerous this gets. Honestly, the bleed kind of blows, but the rest of it is okay. Excuse me. Have you learned about our lord and savior? Tree! Okay. What do you eat? Seriously? Alright, fine. Knockback arrow time. Does that? That's uh, the chain reaction I was looking for. I don't know, but I can scale the damage on that better. But it's okay. Alright, now you're stunned. Now what you... What would you... Ah, now what will you do, little goblin creature? It's rally time. And you brought insufficient rocks. Rock to the base. Probably have him go here. Now here's the question. Rock to rock. Hell yeah. And then, honestly, I'm just gonna be a cheese ball. We're gonna hit him with a bow. Oop. I was gonna bring him into the rock, but I realized that might actually hurt me. I don't really want that. So, this worked better. Okay, so we, we have killed our enemy army. I wasn't expecting that. I'm curious what happens as a result. They just fade from existence. Cool. 
Hey, thank you, Aldenir, for the 100 bits. Love your content. Continue like this. Yeah, thank you. Hope you guys are enjoying me getting altogether way too into this game. But that should be a good thing. Okay. Why did I do that? Whatever, it's fine. I wouldn't have had any more energy anyway. I would have. I will restart again. Time travel. Shush. I probably respawned in their town like in Might and Magic. Oh, I wonder if I can actually siege them. Uh, let's see. So no Final Fantasy VII? Probably not. I apologize. I was, I was planning on it. And then things happened. Mainly this game. Uh, I could go ask Shell to see if she's up for it, but she might just want to have a break. Okay. Go with that. Rock into him. Oh, he didn't. He didn't actually get rocked. That's fine. Now the question is, who the heck do we abuse? Use that guy. I'm gonna see if I can abuse the wizard. He has been electrocuted. Right, life is good. Should probably level these characters up. What new abilities do you have? Holy shackles. Preventing them from moving ignores cover. I'm gonna grab that, because that's like one of the only pieces of CC I've seen go by. Repulse and Vortex. Let's go for Vortex. And Repulse. Alright. So we have the Gravmancer. What's your take on this game, by the way? How do you compare it to Felsiel Arbiter's Marker, Final Fantasy Tactics, or XCOM? It's simpler, I think, than all of them, which is a bit of a tragedy. But a tragedy... If a tragedy, then a very mild one. It's one of those where, like, there are only so many abilities that I... currently see available in the game. And so, like... Let's see. Cool. Have her go there. Have her go here. Set him on fire. Holy crap, that does a lot of damage. I was not expecting. But, like, beating enemies up with extreme physics abuse is actually really fun. And, like, I almost kind of wish this... I, I'm i curious how the local co-op would work, but I almost kind of wish it was something where you could actually, like, just pre-gen a map and play with friends, even competitively, because I could see that being really fun. Dealing more than 12 damage with a single unit uh, with a turn... Oh. That's... Okay, that's pretty good. If I can, If I can get a high DPS character, they will be able to heal. But yeah, I I would say this is simpler than a lot of them, but n you Let's see if I can uh beat them up and take their things. Iron Floss. Bugle! Loot the looter! Kick them to oblivion! Okay, that didn't quite work. That's fine. Because I've gotten my own cheese.
and have her just run right in. Get, kick that guy into that other guy. And we're going to holy shackles that guy so he cannot move. I'm not entirely sure how that factors into everything else here, but that's okay. Eh. Bam! It doesn't do as much damage as I was hoping it would. But that's okay, everybody is stunned and or shackled and or just busted. Oh, so that's how that works. Eh, science! Boop. <laughs> Science works. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna have her move here. Drop a rock on this guy's face. Move here. Grappling arrow. Is he stunned? No. We still have stun block. How injured is that guy? He's being abused. That's good. And we can give her a bit more energy. Perfect. Eh, when in doubt. Didn't quite kill him. Why is he shooting that guy? My beefiest guy. Alright, whatever. It's fine. I don't pretend to understand you creatures. But I would like my loot back. And barring that, I will gladly accept a friendly donation of all of the EXP that you can give me. Alright, and... Boop. There we go. But yeah, I guess the easiest way I could describe this game, it almost reminds me of... Shoot. I'm trying to think of other games that had, like, really heavy physics interactions when it came to... Blinding Amulet. There's some other things. I'm trying to decide where I want to go. Go for the Goblin Bombers, at least for now. I mean, we've killed both of them. So we're good. And it's not Disgaea. There really aren't a whole lot of tactics games that actually have, um... That have really substantive physics interactions. Which... Is a darn shame? Because, like, the physics interactions are actually... Honestly, kind of the best part of this. Upgrade the castle. Increase hero cap. Maybe. Yeah, maybe Divinity Original Sin. Except for you're really not bouncing enemies into each other. Divinity! Divinity definitely gets up there, though. That's probably a good example. The physics class. But no, I can't work on that one. We can get the better party size. Better armor. Cooldown of all physics abilities now. Overwatch and Brace now costs one. 
Right, let's take a look at heroes. It's still the same guys. We'll probably have to wait until the next week before I get more. Well. I'm just going to keep abusing them. Alright, this looks pretty good. Alright, switch back to floss. Bugle up. Your way Pete. Go from here. Alright. There's a lot of them, so we're not actually going to be able to take all of them out. Unless I'm really wily. I feel really wily. Okay. So if I hit this guy with the mushroom... Well, he just dies. I... Guess that works. It works! <laughs> Not the way that I intended it to work. But that's fine. Okay, Vortex, these guys into a bonk. Hell yeah. Now, if only I could increase physics damage somehow. Uh, let's increase Vortex's casting range. Sure. Grab that. Alright. Everything else is good. Yeah, so now all of my characters are in Overwatch and Brace and whatnot. Oh, that's so busted. I love it. Alright, she's just gonna roll right in. This might be a bit of a mistake and blow up in my face, but whatever. <laughs> okay. That was magic. Okay. I guess the closest thing I, I honestly could think of would be, uh, oh shoot, Bullet Storm. This game has Bullet Storm physics. Crossed with Divinity Original Sin. Uh, truly, the only shame is that, you know, the ability set is kind of thin. Uh, text and flick blinding. That's, I mean, that's good. Uh, let's see. Bonus accuracy for the next battle. Nah, I don't care. That is their third party. Let's see, anything else we can do here? No, physics class is... in progress. Okay. Okay, new creatures and heroes available in towns. Monsters grow in strength. Right. Upgrade the castle. I'm gonna keep killing the shit out of their party. We should probably proceed with the story, though. Okay, so let's get her done. Okay. Get up in here. One tragedy is all these guys are lined up kind of separately. But that's okay. He's almost dead. 
I guess. Six is Vortex. Drop that tree on that guy's face. He's quite dead. Now the question is... I guess we're gonna move her in. Quick check, level up. None of these really help too much. I guess we'll level the shackles. Perfect. Okay, so that torches him because we do a shit ton of damage, apparently. And now I can use the shackles to kill that guy. And we still have some energy left. Dang! Okay, she got spooky. Let's see. I'm just going to put her there for the time being. Kick that. And dead. Perfect. I wonder when they respawn or if they're just kind of constantly respawning. I, I wonder if I could actually take them out. Uh, like take out their castle th so they just stop showing up. I was kind of hoping I could get their loot though. Reminds me, switch this. Who are the new heroes that are currently available? Okay, physics abilities push farther. Speed, first movement in a turn. Speed for the rest of the turn. Extremist, rare. Minimum or maximum damage? That's interesting. Okay, so both of those characters seem pretty dang good. So, we have two wizards, two barbarians. Do we have two of everybody now? We do. Okay. So, we'll have to converge at some point. And move the parties around. But that's okay. I wonder if you ever played Heroes of Might and Magic. I did! A long time ago, I played a Heroes of Might and Magic like... I'm just gonna keep abusing you guys. We know where they're spawning from, I think. Okay, hopefully that hits. Got him. Let's see. Drop that on him. Nope, missed. Shoot. Eagle. Well, let's actually switch to Duralis the Reasonable. Don't get too much. We'll get her nasty kick. Okay. Scoot her in. Do her usual thing. Of fire blast the entire area. Wrecks them pretty bad. Okay, the other guy's on fire. I don't have too much else to do. Oh, 
I'll move him forward. So whatever consider streaming it. Probably not. My main issue is uh, with a lot of these games, they tend to be a little long and a little old. Um, I can't do too much else. I'll just brace. Okay, so the one guy cannot move. Brace worked for me. Ow. Oh, burning only does one damage. All right. Well, this worked slightly worse than I was hoping it would, but that's okay. else. I'll just move him forward a bit. He is bleeding hard, which sucks. A lot of these things suck. Okay. Move him there. Kick him. Get him with his stun. Let's see. That one's almost dead. Was burning. Both of these are almost dead. What abilities does she have? the range for repulse. Just do that. Dip him with a rock. And let's just let's just hit this guy. No physics, just death. But yeah, so it's like I like I like the heroes games from what little I played of them, but I just remember it took a very long time for anything to happen, and that started to wear on me a little bit. I, I'm starting to get there on this one, too, but I almost feel like this would have been better with a, um, a shorter, more focused campaign instead of uh, the idea of kind of this repetition system. Uh, or maybe not rep repetition, but the pre procedural generation, and uh, and kind of I'm gonna say yeah, hero style campaigns. Okay, he is dead. For the troop of skeletons, mainly just because the novelty uh, has worn off, and I haven't even gotten out of Act One, which is entirely my fault. And maybe, maybe there are actually better abilities once we get further in. But it's, it's Jesus. Uh, hi. It's one of those where it's like, it, the longer a game takes, the harder it is for me to, uh, commentate over it, I guess. Because after a certain point, my commentary just turns into kind of whatever. And I, I hit that nice groove. And I think I have that problem with a lot of just XCOM likes in general, in terms of like, hey, ooh, what do you talk about after like the nth hour? Oh, whoops. That was the wrong button. Whatever, we'll be fine. I'm gonna get mobbed, but... They're only gonna... They're not gonna do any damage to me. And I am going to boot them into each other. There we go, problem solved. See, struggling for commentary is hilarious sometimes. For like, a couple minutes. And then it, uh, it just gets boring. I, I've played a great many games where I'm like, what the hell do I talk about? I've been playing this game for like 30 hours and it's still going. And that's usually the point where I start just complaining relentlessly, which is a bit of an issue. Wind shard. 
Pushes a single target in any direction, cannot miss, one use per battle. I think I have found their encampment. Well, let's save. Make our way for it. He does have multiple parties. He's just going around. All right, and I've lost motivation for now. So the problem is my foe has improved. Uh... I have been punished. So now we have progressively stronger goblin parties that will now be uh, exploring the world. There seems to be no penalty for, like, losing them. But yeah, the, the main issue is just, uh... Because I didn't do any of the story, because I was waiting for Shell to come back, and then she didn't... I mean, honestly, I was screwing around for a while, too. Uh... But yeah. Now I've, I guess, put myself in a bit of a pickle. Uh, they did say time was of, a, of the essence, but I... I was like, eh, they'll get stronger, it'll be fine. Oh, hey, I found their fort. I can just take them out now. But the answer is that would actually just end the campaign. So, uh, whoops. Well, that is that is why I have these multiple saves. If I want to go back in time, it might not be, be a bad idea for me to do so. That said, I do kind of feel like I've mined the, uh, the fun nuggets. At least for now. So, we'll see. We'll see what people think. Uh, I can go back and finish the story, or not. Because I really did enjoy the combat. I just wish there was more to it to bring me back. Uh, more character classes and more, like, abilities. But that said, for a game... Uh, a game where you just run around just bouncing things into each other endlessly uh, for fun and profit, it actually works pretty well. I had fun with this.